The age-old draft question, best player available or need? The Browns sitting at number 10. Uh, they have a clear need at tackle Ellis. Do they have to take a tackle at number 10? Look, with the draft, of course, it depends who's there. But if only one tackle comes off the board, they better take a tackle. This class is loaded with talent. Um, you know, Alabama, Iowa, they, they've got some prospects in this class that are, are lo loaded. Georgia, USC's Austin Jackson's up there. There's a chance that four tackles go before pick nine. Well, if that's the case, then maybe not. But if only one or two tackles go before pick 10, then the Browns need to find the heir apparent to Joe Thomas, which they've been searching for desperately since he's retired. Uh, Mary Kay, do they have to go tackle at 10? You know, I'm not going to say have to, because we don't really know what's going to happen before that. Uh, they might look around in free agency. They might try to trade for a left tackle as well. So I'm not necessarily going to say have to. I do think that uh, if they haven't gotten one in another way, they have to make it a very high priority. And this would be the year to do it because uh, there are a lot of great left tackles in this draft. However, there are a couple of other positions that I think they could look at there. Uh, I really think they need an edge rusher. They need another edge rusher to complement Miles Garrett. So if they stay true to their board and they find that there's an edge rusher there at number 10 that would also warrant that pick, I would consider doing that. And then uh, there's also another safety linebacker that you might want to talk about, Dan. <laughs> yeah, well, Isaiah Simmons is a guy who maybe if he's sitting there at 10, you look at that dynamic talent, right? And I hate the idea of passing up on dynamic, game-changing type of talent just to fill a need. You know, the hope here is if you end up taking a tackle, you've kind of married, you know, this guy is definitely, definitely should be picked in this spot, definitely fits a need, that's what you're looking to do. But that being said, if you have a chance to bring in a guy that can kind of continue to change your defense, pair with a guy like Miles Garrett, that's gonna be hard to turn yeah. down, especially in a draft that might be kind of deep at tackle. So look, that's the fun stuff we get to talking about between now and the end of April. And of course, with the combine coming up uh, next week as well. So check out cleveland.com slash Browns to see football insider information. Uh, we send you an exclusive newsletter. We text you all the time. You can get that for $3.99 a month and a two week free trial. Again, just click on the banner at the top of cleveland.com slash Browns.